This video is for everybody who was out there hating on the LG G8 because we're saying it's a good device. It's probably a few reasons why you think that way because one, you probably never owned the LG device for yourself and because two, your favorite YouTuber already said it wasn't worth it. So therefore you following coattail and following the crowd, man. But all the real ones, let's go ahead and listen up. Yo, what is going on YouTube? Technically T, now you already heard the little previous little spilled what I had going on with this video. We're gonna talk a little bit about the LG G8, this phone right here, and what people are saying bad about it, and how I feel about it, and I'm gonna address each and every single issue that I always hear people complain about. So we can go ahead and toss this to the side because there's no fancies on this video. We go and go ahead and jump straight into it. Number one, you always hear the LG skin slash the LG OS and about how it's not gonna get any updates. Now here's my little spill about this. I've been using the LG since it came out. I don't know, a few weeks, months ago. I, don't, I can't remember, I don't keep up release dates. But I have been using it nonstop. All my contacts, all my apps are in there. It hasn't slowed down one bit. It handles everything just fine, but all of a sudden, since the LG has a Snapdragon 855, same Snapdragon that's in your Samsung's or any other latest flagship out, it's automatically slow because it's in an LG device. I don't know, that's just something I something I ran across, but that's totally not true, man. This phone blazes, it, 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 it goes through everything. People are already complaining about the LG slowing down. I'm not listening to that, man. It handles everything just fine. Now, talking about the skin, yes, the skin in the settings menu is a little jumbled up, but that's because it has plenty of options. Any device, anything that has plenty of options is gonna be jumbled up. You can take this Sony camera that I'm shooting on right now, the menu settings on that is jumbled up. Look at a Samsung device, their menu section is jumbled up with a whole bunch of stuff. So what makes LG's menu so cluttered and so junky? It can use a little help, but it's not that far off from the rest. You can find everything that you need just fine. And for the updates, all I'm gonna say is Samsung updates, so they get them all the time, but yeah, that's the best phone. Anyway, man, moving on. Next up, man, everybody is making a little funny jokes about the gestures. Now, mine works just fine. I showed you on my unboxing video. If you didn't, you can go ahead and look that for yourself. Mine works just fine, no issue. Now, do I use them? No, I just turned them off because it has a fast fingerprint scanner, no different than any device out there. You got reverse wireless charging on the Samsung devices, nobody uses that, so what's the big issue? If you wanna call that like a gimmick feature, what is the reverse wireless charging on Samsung, but yet, best phone of the year? That gets a pass, right? Gestures work, set them up, they work fine. If they don't work for you, cut them off, end of story. You still got a solid phone. Now, build quality. Just because a device isn't all glass and stainless steel and everything like that, it automatically makes the build quality cheap. Now, I don't know about you, but the build quality with me is just fine. I mean, you can even take the Google Pixel 3 AXL with that polycarbonate plastic body, and I feel like the build quality is just fine. But of course, you're probably saying that because you're trying to compensate for the actual price of the device. You pay for all of that, so therefore, you want to have glass and stainless steel because you wouldn't pay 1300 some dollars for your S10 device. So, build quality is just fine. I don't know what you want when it comes to build quality, but the LG G8 build quality is just fine. The body is holding up well. What more do you want to say? I mean, it's, it's perfect, it's fine. And I'm sure I can keep going on about the camera quality is perfectly fine, no issues whatsoever. When we're talking about the camera, it takes beautiful pictures. This is not gonna be a camera test. I'm not gonna get into that. The display quality is absolutely fine. Is it as vibrant and as bright as your S10? No, it's not, but it still looks great. Like if you put them side by side, yeah, it might be a little brighter, but it looks good. I mean, it's not like, oh, this is a blow away from the S10, no. You know, both displays look very good for what they are, but the main point I'm getting at with this video is, if you are simply out here hating on the LG G8 because you've never used it, I always pose the question, I always ask the question, what is the last LG device that you use because if you come back with me and talk about something that came out about four or five years ago Then I'm just gonna cut your little tech car completely out because one you have no idea what you're talking about and two Devices evolve over time just like Samsung if we were talking about a Samsung S6 and talk about the S10 It's a night and day difference when we talk about performance. That is the same thing that's going on with the LG. Yes, I was one of those people who was saying the same thing, but what you know what I did? I actually bought it and I actually gave it a chance. A lot of content creators out there and a lot of people out there these days aren't even gonna give it a chance. If you look at some of the, as my man Jay Will calls, the media, how many of them actually review the LG G8? I mean, you can count, and the ones that did review it, we're not gonna talk about that, but don't just go with the consensus of people saying the device is bad. Try it out for yourself. You guys are a little upset that the phone costs half the price 
of your precious flagship and kind of outperforms it in a lot of different categories now now no of course this video is not sponsored by lg any of that man i, I don't got all that I bought the I bought the phone with my own money, so these are my own thoughts. But I want to get some information out there for everybody bashing on the G8 because one, you have no idea what you're talking about. If you're gonna sit here and say that the S10 Plus and any other phone is the greatest phone out and you haven't gave the G8 a look, I'm starting to question how much you really know about tech man but this is team man i'm about to get up out of here i just want to let everybody know what's going on with the lg g8 i have more videos on the g8 coming sorry it's been rolling out a little slow but we still got that full review coming man this 2019 with the smartphones is looking pretty interesting and i really can't wait till december when i do my top 2019 phones because the list is going to be a nice little shake up man this should be a nice little surprise but technically t let me know down below what you think if you have the g8 let me know what you think if you don't have it let me know what you think about it i'm curious to see if everybody has that same mindset but yo until next time later